Hello, my name is Larry Barth, and I'm from Stallstown, Pennsylvania. My piece involves a Carolina wren and a little bit of Christmas fern. Originally, I envisioned the piece as being the wren alone, a freestanding bird just sitting on the table, because that's how I had seen the bird. The piece is inspired by wrens uh, that have come into my studio from outdoors and have spent a little bit of time exploring the nooks and crannies in my shop, and ones that I've seen on the deck railing right outside my studio window. And these birds have been out of context. You know, they're not out in the natural environment. They've been in my environment. And that inspired me to present the bird freestanding without any habitat whatsoever. But what I found is that when I worked the piece up in clay, it was missing something. It it did not project as well as the real birds had when they were just sitting there. Uh, I found that I needed to raise the bird up uh, to give it something to enhance it, and fern was what I chose to do that with. The arc of the fern gave the piece a little bit of height, and the dark green of the fern gave a color contrast that set the bird's rich rusty browns off really, really nicely. The arc of the fern originally was much higher, and every time that I lowered it, I liked it a little better. And what I came to realize is that when the arc of the fern matched the curve of the bird's bill, uh, that was the sweet spot. That's when the bird and the fern tied together nicely. Uh, down low in the fern, I have a dead frond, an old dried brown frond, and it has a strong kink in it. And that kink matches the wren as well. The, the, the angle of the kink is the same angle as the bird's cocked tail. Uh, so in numerous ways, the bird and the fern are tied together. The paired leaflets of, of fern, the latter pattern of the, the frond, is repeated in the, the barred pattern that you see in the wings of the, the wren and the, the tail of the wren. Uh, and it's just one of the many, many ways that I work to mimic and echo the patterns and shapes and colors in the bird in the habitat that it becomes a part of so that the two uh, all work together and become one in the composition.